Right, so it looks like uh, yeah, those temperatures are going to be heating up to the maybe mid to upper 90s, but do we hit 100? Don't think so, Not but quite. <laughs> hey, if you uh, amateurs at home maybe think that you uh, see something I don't see, let us know. Play Icebreak. All you got to do is go to the uh, App Store, the Google Play Store, and download the uh, News 4 app, hit Icebreak 2019, and then once you're in there, all you got to do is put your email in, and then you put the date down to the hour and the minute when you first think we hit 100 degrees at Tucson International Airport for the very first time. Once that is done, you are done. You can play once a day, but keep in mind, Multiple correct guesses go to the person that guessed the soonest. Got to make that fair somehow, right? Low temps this morning, below average 53. Average low would be 54. We had 30s and 40s across Cochise and Santa Cruz County and 20s and 30s in Arizona's high country. 97 out in Yuma today. It was 94 in Phoenix. Gorgeous shot. Days continue to grow longer. 85 sunny skies. Weather perfection across the region. 31 is a dew point. Humidity 14%. Winds out of the northwest at 12 miles per hour. Mostly into the low to mid 80s now at the 6 o'clock hour. Across the city of Tucson. Across Cochise County, you're into the 70s. Upper 70s right now in Nogales. So 80s, maybe one more hour and into the 70s. And we'll stay in the 70s till about 11 o'clock. So a slow cool down tonight, but a progressive one. Low to mid 60s by 2 a.m. Wake up time, I think upper 50s to near 60 degrees. Just a couple cloud buildups across the muggy on rim today. That's really about it. Very clear skies across the desert southwest, courtesy of high pressure. Low pressure, the one that brought us some showers and storms yesterday and the day before, now located in sections of Texas. This area of high pressure will continue to migrate to the northeast. And as this process happens, that's where we're going to see really sort of the crux of the heat. So we'll bid farewell to this low pressure. This is going to bring the heat on in. Uh, Friday, really think the warmest day. Saturday is still going to be plenty of warm. Here's the one thing the sort of fly in the ointment, so to speak. This low pressure center off the coast of California moves on shore by about Monday, and that should in turn cool us down a little bit, but looks pretty dry for this time of year. Here's your forecast and for tonight, upper 50s near 60 for nighttime lows, sunny and warm tomorrow. High temps, low 90s, northwest winds 5 to 10 miles per hour. Cochise, Santa Cruz County, 50s for lows, 40s though still in Wilcox, and your daytime highs into the 80s. Your forewarned extended forecast, 93 tomorrow, a sizzling, toasty, hot, 97 on Friday, we'll call that hot. I mean, that's uh, well above average by about 12 to 14 degrees on Friday. Mid 90s Saturday, turning a little breezy Sunday, Monday and Tuesday, and that will gradually lower our temperatures into the low 90s. And then, hey, this is kind of a bonus by about a week from uh, yesterday, 86 for a high temp, maybe upper 80s on Wednesday. By next Wednesday, I think our average high will probably be about 86. So that's within a handful, two, three degrees of average. Not bad, could be a lot worse. Most of our records this time of year, well into triple digit territory, not this time around. Hold them off as long as possible. We will there do. you go. Yes. All right. It's time for.